Hi everybody, in this video I will be covering the important topics that are expected in your board exams along with some recommendations that you must follow. Plus, I will tell you what you have to study today, tomorrow and day after. So 7th of March is your physics paper, right? So I will tell you like how to utilize these three days. So let's begin. Firstly, we will talk about the marks distribution. This is for 70 marks, right? Well, I came to know that the maths paper was difficult and the pattern has of course changed. So what can we expect for our upcoming exams? You'll definitely get either physics or chemistry easy, right? So you don't need to worry. Please focus on the upcoming exams and try to excel in it. Maths exam has gone and you need to focus on the future right now. So yeah, physics or chemistry exam may be easy. If I talk about the total weightage, here we have these two chapters for 14 marks. Then we have optics for 18 marks, right? And you can just look at the marks distribution. So you will start with optics today plus electromagnetic waves plus atoms and nuclei and electronic devices. Cover this today itself. Most of you might have started it from yesterday, that is on 3rd of March. So I think that's also good. Then 5th of March will be for electrostatics. Then the chapters uh, 3rd and 4th, magnetic effect of 3rd and 4th, magnetic effects of current and magnetism, electromagnetic induction and alternating currents. Then uh, you can also start with the competency based questions that's available in the website of CISC. And on 6th March, you should dedicate your whole day to PYQs and revise all the derivations because there are a number of derivations. So you have to learn like what is the process, the procedure. I feel that you should not mug up the derivation but understand it because if you understand it, then only you will be able to deliver it in your exam. Otherwise, you will face problems while solving it. I have also seen a lot of students have not made notes and they want notes at this point of time so you can refer to my physics ebook which is available in the website molly ebooks and i'll also add the link of this physics ebook in my description box so you can have a look on these handwritten notes it covers the derivations numericals and all the notes of all chapters you can just have a look here see here we have also provided the derivations then we have the numericals which are solved and then uh, of course the notes along with the definitions of important terms right so this is an all-in-one ebook if you want to purchase it then you can buy it from the link in the description box so if i talk about the numericals you have to practice the basic formula based in numericals and uh, since council is changing its pattern it's asking assertion reasoning based questions so, so you should also practice them from the sample papers let's move on to the general recommendations firstly go for extra questions i feel that when you attempt extra question your chances of scoring more increases it's because uh, if you have done anything wrong then they may consider the extra question and evaluation will be done accordingly they will be considering this extra question and awarding you marks right so go for extra questions but you should do this after you completed the paper there is this option or so you can uh, complete the paper and at the end you can write extra question and attempt that part okay write the question and the sub part also Second is derivations. So whenever you attempt your derivation, you have to draw the diagram. It may be a graph. Alright. Label the axis also. And arrows are definitely important. Label it properly. That's the key feature of attempting the derivation. And you can derive it here. Third is numericals. Please mention the units in SI. In case they have not asked you to convert it into any other unit, so you should mention it in SI. Convert all the units in SI and then solve it. 
your uh, process of attempting a numerical should be like this first you have to write the formula then substitute it and then answer it with the unit and it should be in decimal form you should not leave it in fraction it's clearly mentioned by the counter now mention keywords in answers whenever you write your definitions or maybe you are stating a theorem you have to mention the keyword because that is the only thing that will fetch you marks and if you are unable to answer any question then you can answer it either in the form of a graph or a diagram or any relevant definition trust me if you even draw the diagram of that particular question you will be able to score full in that so please don't leave any question for example gauss theorem state gauss theorem you are unable to answer the definition you are unable to state it just draw the diagram all right now i'll move on to the important questions of physics so i've taken the screenshot from molly's channel in which i taught the most important questions of physics you can refer to that also otherwise uh, this is also relevant i have already attached the screenshots quantization of charge then uh, these derivations of axis line or end on position broaden position talk state gauss theorem and applications you can just pause the video take a screenshot and practice all these questions moving on to the next page take a screenshot then next screenshot all right so this is the end of the video thank you for watching this and please do not worry about your upcoming exams i know maths aisa gaya hai traumatic bilkul but you have to stay calm kyunki abhi aapke jo paper pending hai usko aap acche se kariye tabhi aapke marks acche aayenge achhi percentage banegi right aur baki um I would only say that if you like my content and if you found it helpful then subscribe because it highly motivates me all the best for your physics exam and bye